Let's start with a really striking chart produced by the government showing you the vaccine push and how it's going. And what you can see here are these bars showing you how many people have been vaccinated. So proportions of different age groups. And you can see over 80s getting vaccinated. The green bit shows you first doses and then you can gradually see different age groups getting vaccinated. And look, now you can start to see those darker blue bars going up. That's second doses. So proportion of people who have been uh, had two jabs is going up and up and up through every different age group. And that's kind of where we are at the moment. Uh, Good news in that you can see those bars have gone very high, higher than in many other countries uh, around the world. But the health secretary says he still wants to get them up closer to 100%. That's important because, of course, this new variant, the Indian variant, is spreading around the UK. You get a sense of that when you compare it to what's happened with growth of other variants. So, for instance, this shows you the Brazilian variant pretty much flat over the course uh, of the last few months. Then you've got the South African variant. Lots of talk about that. But just have a look at the growth of the Indian variant. Incredibly sharp uh, increase in recent weeks. Uh, up to just under 3,000 cases, 2,967 cases in total uh, at the moment. And there are different parts of the country that are affected. You probably remember Bolton being one of the hotspots. Let's just zoom in there. Um, but the thing that we've noticed, going back to those vaccinations, is that it does seem to be a vaccine effect. So look at what's happening to cases uh, for those who are under 60, people who are less likely to be vaccinated, going up very sharply uh, indeed. But now compare them to those who are over 60, and they are really quite low. There's a gap that's opened up, and that gap actually seems to be widening, although over 60 is going up a little bit. And if you look around different parts of the country where the health secretary says they are doing surge testing, new places, new names we've heard about, for instance, Burnley, the good news is we're not seeing as big increases. So, again, under 60s, not up quite as much. Over 60s, uh, even less. So that's encouraging. It's a similar story to in many places like Hounslow Belly, any increase in there uh, at all, even though there is surge testing as well. well. We'll monitor that over the course of the next few weeks. But the key thing to bear in mind is when you look across the country as a whole, look, case levels, this is just showing you, showing you total daily case levels, are incredibly low at the moment. And until that starts to rise, we can be relatively assured that things are looking just about OK right now.